The paper airplane challenge continues on. I see that we are we've got jet fuel, so we're in good shape. Todd James, American Red Cross is here anytime. Hey, hey. All right, so you're gonna choose your plane. You've got any leanings at all? I, I'm leaning thinking? towards the SS Explorer. Can you show me the SS Explorer um, so people have an idea? That's what it's it is. It kind of looks like the uh, the Enterprise. Yeah. If you want to go that route, I'm, all right, I'm so. a sci-fi geek. So. <laughs> so you're gonna take that. That's gonna be your your hoss that you're gonna ride into battle. This looks yeah, it looks like it. All right, get to going, my friend. Okay, so I, I can tear this out of here, right? Get tear right out of there. Go ahead. All right, you've got your Explorer ready to fly. Yep, the SS Explorer that is ready to go. That is fully three dimensional. It it, it looks cool, if nothing else. And it you looks gotta admit. it doesn't look wildly unlike the image. Yeah, although I, I seem to I think I cut off a couple of the uh, the uh, arrow flaps here. So I'm arrow sure. flaps. Yeah, not sure how that's going to affect. Are you a pilot in your off time? Uh, yeah, that yeah. seems pretty technical. Yeah. All right, let's go fly I this I could call boy. them the warp nacelles, the but that would really make me a geek. <laughs> oh, so. boy. Well, you wouldn't want that. All right, here we go. Todd James from the American Red Cross in for the paper <laughs> airplane challenge. So let's have it, Todd, with your SS, what is it, Explorer? The SS Explorer. All right, here we go. Here's Todd's shot. All right, impulse to one quarter. All right, we have... We have a landing. Now wow. we just have to do a measure it. Here we go. You already beat Mike Cortez, I'll tell you that. So where do you think you came along? Remember who's battled so far? Sarah yeah. Chris, Mike Cortez, me and Doug, Jessica and Natalie from the Hancock County Humane Society. Where do you think you fall on our leaderboard? Well, uh, I heard Mike had problems with the RoboCopper. Um, <laughs> you didn't know it was a helicopter? Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm thinking I maybe beat him. I know you and Doug, and, and I might have beat you two. Uh, just okay. because you two would be fighting at it so much, I'm not sure you could make the airplane in this. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure the two ladies probably kicked my butt. Okay, well, let's so see. I'm going to guess in the middle there. You're going to guess in the Do you have a, a distance idea? I, I want to say maybe a couple of feet. A couple of feet. Yeah. Well, let's see how you did, Todd. Here's our, here's our current leaderboard. Sarah Crisp at Awakening Minds Art is at 17 oh my gosh. feet, 4 inches. Well, did she put an engine on it? I don't really know how she did that. Doug went 14 feet, 7 inches. The Humane Society ladies were in the 10 and 11. I had a horrible flight <laughs> at 2 feet, 6 inches. And uh, Sergeant Mike was 2 feet, 2 and 3 quarter inches. Todd James from the American Red Cross, you did it in 6 feet, oh, wow. 5 and 1 half inches. Which, if the tape comes back apart, will put you... Just above me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just above me, but still below the Humane Society ladies. Yeah, that's what I figured. So there you go, Todd. That moves me back down. You'll note, though, that Mike Cortez still brings up the rear. Way to go, Mike. All right, there you, you go. Paper airplane challenge, I, I, Todd James from the American Red Cross yeah, being a good sport.